Hello friends, in this tutorial I will walk you through installing the latest version of Desi UI which is version 5 in your Vite React project along with Tailwind CSS version 4. So first let's go to Visual Studio Code and I'll take a new window. Let me close this. Okay, and I'll open the terminal by pressing Ctrl and backtick key. And I want to create the project on my desktop, so I'll do cd desktop. Okay, now let's head over to the browser and let's go to wheat.dev because first we need to install React using wheat. Okay, so if I scroll down, so here it says this is the command to install the React project using wheat. Okay. So, but here uh, we need the npm version which should be 7 plus. So, if I check my npm version, so npm hyphen v, and if I hit enter, it is 10.5.2, which is 7 plus. Okay, now we will use this command to install our React project. So, here it is written view, but instead of view, I'll say React. Okay, so npm create v at the rate latest. And here we need to give the name of our app. So I'll say Daisy UI hyphen React project. You can give whatever name you want, and then I'll give a space hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen. And here I'll say template, and we are using the React template. And here I'll hit enter. Okay, now we need to go inside this folders so for that we need to do cd daisy ui react project hit enter now we are inside this folder and now we need to install the packages so here i need to say npm install hit enter now it will install all the packages required for this react project so if you like this video please like share and comment and please subscribe to my channel so I'll keep creating this kind of videos. Now I want to open this folder. Okay. I want to open the folder. So I'll say code space dot and hit enter. So it will take me, it will take me to that folder. So here are all the files. And if I go to package.json, so here as you can see, we have the React 19 version and wheat which is 6.2.0 now we need to install tailwind css version 4 so let's head over to tailwindcss.com so tailwindcss.com and now i'll click on get started so here is the first step using wheat okay so we are going to copy this command and we need to open the terminal and i'll paste the command which i've copied So now as you can see we have the tailwind css version 4.0.17 and here also it is written tailwind hyphen tailwind slash wheat which is 4.0.17 okay now let's get to the next step which is wheat.config.ts but in our case it is js so let's go there and let's copy this code and here i'll add a comma and paste it okay let's save this file now what else inside the css i need to Right, import tailwind css so our css file is index.js so let's uh, select all remove it paste it okay save this this is done now before we do npm run dev we need to install daisy ui okay so this is the daisyui.com website and we need to uh click on daisy ui version 5 okay so here i've clicked and let's click on install so only two steps and we are done with the daisy ui version 5 so let me copy this and here i'm going to paste it hit enter and let's go to package.json so we can see daisy ui so where is daisy ui so here as you can see we have daisy ui version 5.0.9 so we have successfully installed daisy ui but one more thing we need to add is this plugin so let me copy this and uh, our css is in index.css so let's paste this save this this is done let me close all these files okay now let's go to app.jsx 
and now i'll run the project so npm run dev hit enter okay so one thing we forget is this one so inside weed.config.js i need to copy this and here i'm going to paste it let me save this now so now let's clear this out and now we can do npm run dev okay hit enter now everything should work fine okay so let me copy this and i'm going to paste it hit enter so now our application is running okay so let's check whether uh, we can use daisy ui or not so i'll remove all the code from here i'll remove this constant i'll remove everything from here we don't require this app.css okay and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to take an h1 tag and here i'm going to say my daisy ui react app okay save this and let's add a class name that is going to be text red 500 let me save this so as you can see now let's add one more class that is going to be text to excel save this okay now we are going to use the daisy ui component so let's go to daisy ui and if i click on this components here so here there are a lot of components so we can use the button so let's click on button and if i scroll down so as you can see we have different kind of buttons here so let's click on html and let's copy one of the button and here i'm going to paste it save this and let's go back to the browser so as you can see we are using this tailwind so we are using this daisy ui button okay so we have successfully installed daisy ui version 5 along with react and tailwind css 4 so this is it for this video and if you like this video please like comment and share this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you and bye bye